as a lawyer, I read that judgment with shock and disbelief. That's my statement. That I do not expect the judiciary to take the interest of a single litigant and with that interest of a single in, uh, litigant in the name of Okia Umtata against the entire public interest, public good regarding finance bill or finance law. In parliament, you have 349 members of parliament who are representatives of the public. Let's assume Okiam Obtata was representing a certain sector. And that sector is not very far from ODM because he's also a senator whose background and ticket is as a meal. It is not possible for those who believe in this government not to see something else other than what is black and white. And therefore, I would want to urge the judiciary, because it is seized of the matter, and we have worked in, 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 a, in, a, in, a, in a situation of, we decided we will respect the judiciary because we have co been commanded by the constitution. The constitutional order requires the judiciary remains independent. But it must also, and, I, and this is a, a statement that lawyers repeat a lot, the judiciary does not give judgments in isolation, does not give judgments in a vacuum. It must be mindful and observant of the political environment, of the national larger good and public interest. This is kama watu na viyogozi wa Kenya kwanza, tunaheshimu all the institutions of government. We respect the parliament where we serve, the executive and also the judiciary. That is why none of us can st uh, stand anywhere and talk in about our judiciary. We may disagree on many respects, but we respect them. Kwa sababu hesima, diyo inatupereka kwenye tuko kama Kenya ambayo hiko united. But we also have a right to disagree. Even if we respect our judiciary, we still reserve our right to disagree with, that, with some of the things that get processed through our judiciary. Na mimi ni keuliza mahakama yetu. Tunawaheshimu ata kwa hii bajeti. Tumiokeza close to 20% the judiciary uh, funds and resources. We have increased judiciary resources from 18 billion to 22 billion. We are doing that so that our judiciary can continue to be independent. Lakini kwa hayo pia nauliza judiciary yetu. Tapadhali tazigine Na hatutaki kuwabia eh, eh, namna ya kufanya kazi yao wanaelewa zaidi. Lakini nikiuliza kama kiongozi, hii maneno ya finance bill waangalie sana haswa siku ya kesho. And because we respect our courts, sisi hatukuti kwa barabara kupiga maneno ya koti, tunaenda kwa hiyo koti bado kesho. And tomorrow we'll be going there to request the judiciary to overturn their previous decision of holding the implementation of finance bill. Salaries and remuneration commission is a commission. The commission kazi yao ni independent. In fact, when you are budgeting, pesa ya commissions diyo inatokaka kwanza. Because as government, hataki kuikiria kazi yao. Lakini tuko wa Kenya, na tunaweza peana kitu inaitwa public participation. Kimi kama kiogozi, naweza panya public participation kwa SRC. Nimekisoma gazeti juzi wako na mpango ya hata mimi kuniagalia vizuri kama mbunge. Ogeze kama shahara yangu. Na hata ya rais. Ami napenda rais. Na hata ya viokosi. Wote hata wajube wenzangu. Lakini kama mwenye kitu wa bajeti, mimi najua Kenya yetu bado tuko na kazi kiasi. Ya kupukuza madeni, ya kupukuza recurrent expenditure which is gobbling a sizable amount of government expenditure. Mimi nikeuliza SRC. Kama iko kitu wanapata kuogeza wafanikazi mshahara, they must not focus on us 
as leaders. So me, I believe we are well equipped, we have the best lawyers, we have the best people, and we should always respect the court. Whether it says good thing about you, bad things about you, but if we do not have the courts, and somebody actually told me, the best friend that you should have in your life is the court of law. So for us, we say we respect them, but we are going to fight that uh, order in the courts.